Hi everyone, welcome to Metaphor Consulting Learning Channel. Today, we will learn PM Breakdown Maintenance in S4HANA 2020 environment as well failure analysis. Before going ahead, let's have a quick introduction about organization profile. Metaphor Consulting is a leading IT organization providing various kind of SAP services accordance to the market demand. In spite of rich organization, Metaphor Consulting also facilitate corporate training, virtual led classroom training, SAP project, SAP internship and SAP placement to their candidates as well job seekers. For more details, visit our registered URL that is www.metaphorconsulting.in. So, without further delay, let's focus our today agenda. Here, one point we are trying to highlight at this COVID pandemic, we are working in stress and finding the time is very, very difficult. So, requested to everyone, please subscribe us as well, like and share to motivate our teamwork. Focusing on today agenda, here five different points are highlighted. In point number one and two, we have to cover the theory part of breakdown maintenance and standard breakdown maintenance processes as well relevant interview questions. In point number three, we will execute the same process in SAP S4 HANA 2020 system. In point number 4, again we have to learn the calculation part of failure analysis. And in point number 5, we have to extract the failure analysis report through MTTR and MTBR in SAP S4 HANA 2020 system. Now, moving towards the point number one. First of all, we have to know what is maintenance. Maintenance referring to service and repairing. As and when service or repairing is required towards machine, equipment or geographical location, maintenance term is coming into the picture. Now, have to understand maintenance category. It is a interview question. Many of the interviewers is asking this question. So, maintenance category are divided into two types. One is called your internal maintenance and another one is called your external maintenance. If the service are repairing taken place inside the plant premises, then it is comes under the internal maintenance. Similarly, if the service or repairing taken place outside the plant and premises is commonly known it as the external maintenance. Now coming to next, what is breakdown maintenance? Breakdown maintenance is a such kind of maintenance performing towards the machine or equipment already stop functioning. This is also a interview question. Now, trying to learn types of breakdown maintenance. So, there are two types of breakdown maintenance. One is called the corrective breakdown maintenance and another one is called the breakdown maintenance. The difference between corrective and breakdown maintenance is described. In corrective breakdown maintenance, the production line does not hamper and services or maintenance done without system breakdown. However, in breakdown maintenance, it hampers the production line and system always required breakdown at the time of maintenance. Moving to next, have to cover the standard breakdown maintenance process. Through this diagram, we are trying to explain 
द स्टैंडर्ड ब्रेक डाउन मेंटेनेंस प्रोसेस व्हिच इज रनिंग इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल टाइप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज सो द ब्रेक डाउन मेंटेनेंस प्रोसेस इनिशिएटेड फ्रॉम रेजिंग द नोटिफिकेशन सो हियर आई एम हाइलाइटिंग माई क्रॉसर सो फ्रॉम रेजिंग द नोटिफिकेशन द ब्रेक डाउन मेंटेनेंस प्रोसेस बिगिन्स हेन्स आफ्टर इट विल बी मूव टूवर्ड्स द मेंटेनेंस ऑर्डर कॉमनली नोन इट एज एमओ देन एमओ विल बी गो टूवर्ड्स द अप्रूवल कॉल द रिलीज ऑर्डर During the time of maintenance, if any material is required, it comes under the issue of spare parts. Or if it is going towards outside the premises for servicing, comes under the service and repairing. After that, the work is going to be get executed, comes under the execution of work, and finally the actual hours is going to be get calculated. Hence, after technically the order is going to be get complete once the order is going to be get complete it will be go for the settlement comes under the settlement of work order and finally business is going to complete the entire cycle same process flow we will execute in sap s4 hana 2020 system before going ahead we must have to know the prerequisite for execute the process in the sap s4 hana 2020 system the standard notification type which sap is offering towards the globe is m2 however we are preferring z for notification equipment number is already mentioned reported type is mentioned coding is also mentioned effect 3 we are using over here why for the similarly the standard order type suggested by sap towards breakdown maintenance each pm02 however we have to use zm04 business area is 5105 and pm act type mec now we are switching the screen to s4 hana 2020 system put the transaction code of iw21 for create breakdown notification press enter and put the notification type once again press enter put the appropriate description currently we are putting breakdown maintenance also mention the equipment number the equipment number is 10593505 fill the reported by that is ads agent ads underscore a g e n t similarly fill the coding m a i n t as well as m e c put the tick mark on break down again scroll down in the effect field put the three it indicates maintenance breakdown press enter and then save the notification after saving a notification number generated through system now go back and open the transaction code of i w 22 to release the notification put the notification number and press enter here you will be find a green flag press that and save your notification number is being released now once again go back and put the transaction code of iw22 and press enter currently i am in the same screen so press enter only here there is a 
icon will available called create that means create the notific create the maintenance order that is called your breakdown maintenance order click on that icon and put the order type the standard order type proposed by sap is pm02 however we have to use zm04 similarly put business area 5105 and then press enter after pressing enter once again press enter so the order is now ready to create here choose the operation tab and prior to the operation tab fill the data of pm act type so pm act type should be mec once again press enter system will automatically navigate to the operation tab and here you have to put the appropriate description of your operation for time being we are putting the description as operation 1 o p e r a t i o n operation hyphen 1 how many hours so let's suppose 10 hours is required and the number of people should be 2 and individual they will be work 5 hours and go for save now save the maintenance order hence after go back and put the transaction code of i w 32 to release the breakdown maintenance order put the order number and press enter again you will be find a release flag called green color flag click on that and save it simply now moving to next for your order confirmation the transaction code is iw 41 press enter now here you have to put the actual work hours in the actual duration field similarly put the tick mark on final confirmation and no work remain then save once once you save your order has confirmed successfully again put the transaction code of i w 30 to to open your order put the order number and press enter once you press enter here you will be find one flag called complete technically click on that system is going to ask you are you going to complete the order with notification so remove this tick mark and save so that you can individually close the identical order as well as notification then go back and open the transaction code of iw22 to close the notification now here press enter and go for the completion before going for the completion in the malfunction end date you have to put so we are putting the today date as well as the time so put the current time too so here we are putting the current time as 14 30 and press enter once again press enter so automatically the breakdown hours is going to get calculate however if you wants to see the maintenance duration click on the maintenance duration tab and it is automatically show you how much maintenance duration is with the unit go to the additional tab and fill few more information as like failure class type so press a four option and choose 
the failure class. Similar to that, subclass label also going to be used. Again, press F4 and choose the appropriate one. Then press enter and save it. So before saving, go for the completion first. So here is the completion flag where I am highlighting my cursor. Click on that and finally press enter. Once you press enter, the data is going to be saved and the notification is completed. It is also being highlighted in the downline which is confirmed by SAP. So this is a normal cyclic flow as well as a standard cyclic flow which almost all companies are preferring. So our next activity is breakdown failure analysis. This is also a interview question and many of the interviewers is asking in each and every interview. First of all, will we understand the calculation part and finally we have to check it in SAP system too. So here U stands for uptime and D is indicates to downtime. Also it is being highlighted in two different color. For sake of example, total uptime we calculated as 900 hours and that is the cumulation value of U1, U2, U3, U4, U5 and U6. Similar way, total downtime is going to calculate as 108 hours with D1 plus D2 plus D3 plus D4 plus D5. Now, the failure analysis calculation we have to understand. The failure analysis is going to be calculated by MTTR as well as MTBR. The full form of MTTR is mean time to repair. The simplest calculation which we are trying to explain is the total downtime divided by the number of iterations. The total downtime is 108 hours. However, the iteration is D1, D2, D3, D4, D5 is 5 different iteration. So, 108 divided by 5 is equal to 21.5 is the simplest one. Similarly, MTBR mean time between repair. Here, the calculation is little bit different. The total of time divided by the iteration of downtime. So, the total of time is 900 hours divided by the iteration of downtime should be the 5. So, here 900 divided by 5 is equal to 180 called it as 180. Same thing we have to check it in SAP S4 HANA 2020 environment. Now, we are switching the screen to SAP S4 HANA 2020. Put the transaction code of MCJB, MCJB in the transaction bar and press enter. After pressing enter, it will ask the equipment number. We have the equipment number in our hand called 10593505. Simply execute it. Once you execute, system is going to intimate you that there are three different downtime has been carried out and the subsequent MTTR and MTBR value. Double click on that to understand in depth. Here, I am highlighting 3 is nothing called your actual downtime and mean time to repair 
is called it as MTTR is 13.25. So here in the A above you can see there is three different yellow color is going to highlight by SAP. That means on the date date of 8-5-2021 there is a downtime was calculated 29.67, 9-5.57 and 12th which is today is 4.52. Cumulate the value of 29.67, 5.57, 4.52 divided by 3. So, if you are going to calculate 29.67, 5.57 and 4.52, the value should be the 39.75 and divided by 3, the value will become as 13.25. Similar way, MTBR mean time between repair. So, time between the repair actual as well as number of actual breakdowns. So, here you have to calculate number of actual breakdowns divided by 3. So, number of actual breakdowns is 2134.75 divided by 3 is equal to mean time between repair that is 711.58 hours. This is a very simplest report provided by SAP by their own calculation. It is purely a standard report which is surfacing the current age of requirement. However, if anyone is interested to know about MTBF mean time between failure, they can able to drop a message in the chat box. We definitely create a value added information for them with a short time of interval. Now we are switching our main PPT and going ahead. We are trying our best to provide the value added information as per our knowledge and database. Stay connected with us and drive your career journey with Metaphor Consulting experience. Thanks for your precious time. We hope this information will help you to take the right decision. Thanks a lot. Thank you.